writing literature, writing and uh, say the degree one more time. Um, it's literature. I study Shakespeare. Okay. Shakespeare. Lovely guy. Would give him a handshake. If I could. What are you going to do with that? Um, well, there, that's such a compl- complicated question. Oh, like, no. <laughs> okay. I was really hoping for a more, you knew what you were going to do yeah. with this so, much school and student so this, loans. This is where I just have to like say, you know, we come from different worlds. You're not going to understand this. What um, do you mean? Well, what do you mean? Like you won't understand like the precarity and why it's really all right. What, what do you mean though? Um, like, like I'm not like, I could be a professor. Like that would be the goal. Yeah. Um, this is a very hard job to get, but I have a lot of other skills. Like I will get a job. It well, just what may not world? be. What different world do we come from? Like you're just, you're just not used to that precarity. Like you, you like you, like the, your reaction there was like, Oh, I, no, like, I studied that's music hot. composition in college. I was in the okay. arts. I was in the okay. college of arts school of music. Okay. And, uh, my peers around me, they okay, were so going then, through their master's schools. Uh, through their masters and then they wanted to go through their doctorate so that they could become professors but i asked the job and then you didn't know what to say so i was just hoping there was going to be at least a what do you want to do which was what the question is yeah be a professor okay cool i mean that that i mean that's good so we at least have a path of yeah, where and we i have lots go. of backup paths too and i'm okay. like very good at what i do so i will have a job yeah. like that's not a concern at all okay um yeah, I mean, yeah, sure. It's just so, like what the job will be. There, I graduate in May of 2026. There's just no way to know what jobs will be offered. 2026? Yeah. Why is it? How long is this PhD? Six years. It's pretty standard. I guess we do come from a little different worlds because music composition is like two to three years after master's to get a... Yeah, the, in in fairness, it's not after master's. I entered with a, with a um, bachelor's degree. I'm sorry, say it again? Yeah, I did not have a master's when I started my PhD program. Oh, so that essentially goes through that whole thing too then. Mm-hmm. Okay, yeah. so that, that definitely makes more sense. I was going to say, I was going to say, because, okay, that, that makes more sense. Ooh. Okay, so you want to be a teacher of, of Shakespeare? Mm-hmm. Yeah, of literature, yeah. Cool. And as far as the job market goes for that, and again, coming from the more arts world, I know it's a very competitive. It's exceptionally competitive, yeah. Okay, so out of the gate maybe we don't get the job right away which okay we're obviously going to always aim to get it what are we looking at career potential wise um so i have a lot of experience working at um writing centers um so i could be a director of a writing center um that you know there are there's availability for those kinds of jobs Mm -hmm. um i would be qualified to do it um i also um something i really enjoy is like working with people um who uh, are like applying to graduate school or applying to college. Um, I've, I've like played around with the idea of like opening a business, doing that, um, something mm. like that. Um, I have a lot of experience and a lot of success, like helping people with resumes and getting jobs. Um, so I could do stuff like that. Okay. Um, I also could, you're not going to like, you're not going to like this, but it's something that I, I in the back of my head want to do. Yeah, I know there's the look. I already know where um, Get another degree. Get my MFA in poetry. It's something I enjoy. Look. Enjoy? Yeah, but why does that require going and spending time getting a degree when we're putting off our life? It's not... See, because I don't see it that way. It's not putting off my life. Okay, but do you ever want to retire? Sure. So you're putting off your retirement? Yes. Okay. To do something that I find worthwhile. No, that's great. Do we have to get a degree for it, though? Does everything have to be the piece of paper for it? No. So it's actually the piece of paper, like, it's not as used. It's the experience. Like, yeah, it's it's really not for the piece of paper. What about the opportunity cost surrounding it? It would be great, but, um, like, I, I, I am confident that I can get a handle on my finances not making more than 40000 Like, I don't think I need more than 40000 to get a handle on everything. Yeah, I know. You're going to have to explain that one. Well, um, I don't know. That's what I make right now. And it's all right. It's all right. The, the issue is Remind spending. Me. Yeah, I know. The issue is spending though, not uh, spending on unnecessary things. Like it's more of a, it's more of a habit issue than a, I mean, your rent issue. alone is basically 45% of your take home and your needs should be no higher than 50%. I wouldn't say we're exactly thriving by any means. And also I we mean, just I, had one little thing happen. And things will always happen in our credit card balance ballooned. And guess what? One more thing. I'm sorry. 
you're not calculating the fact that there's seven hundred ninety one dollars in minimum monthly payments to your student loans that are not being have to paid right now. Right. That's I am. huge. No, I'm thinking about that. You are? Of course. Seven ninety one divided by thirty two hundred, that would take an additional twenty five percent away. Well, what do you want me to say? I don't know. I just don't think you're correct. Okay. That's fine. Are, can you explain how you would make it on forty thousand dollars if it just doesn't if the numbers just don't say that? Because I, I, this isn't a prove wrong, prove right type situation. Mm-hmm. It's a if you actually have that thought and you're totally okay with it, or just so nonchalant about it. It's like if you end up actually being in that point where like forty thousand dollars just like for the rest of our life because this is like what we're okay with. Like I don't want you to end up in a bad situation. Like that scares me on behalf of you. Mm-hmm. So that's where I want to try to dispel that. I mean, it just depends, right? Like I, what comes, I'll figure it out. Like that's sort of my, uh, this sort of has so, to be so my attitude about it. it. Why does that have to be your attitude? Why not a m- or more mature attitude where we like have objectives, we figure out what it takes to meet each objective. And well, I'm we certainly do doing that. Steps. I'm certainly doing that. Okay, well, that's not figuring it out. That's not kicking the can down the road. I'm that's, not kicking the can down the road, but I'm saying like, I don't know how much money I'm going to be making. No, like I don't. I'm, I don't know. I'm just trying to like, I know what I have right now and I'm trying to stabilize with what I have right now. That's, that's what is in front of me. And then in yeah. two years when I'm done with the PhD, my income will change. It will change some. I'll make a little bit more money Unless regardless you go back of to what school. I'm doing. Unless I go back to school, I would, would stay the same. Yes. Which you seem equally happy with though. I mean, I don't know if it's financially feasible yet mm-hmm. for sure, but it's something that I play around with. Like it's something that I might want to do. It just depends. Mm-hmm. Like, I don't know if that will be possible. I have no idea. Are you a little defensive? I'm just going to ask. Well, sure. Well, I just think... I don't want you to feel like I'm attacking you. Just No, me. I don't think you're attacking me. Um, I think that I'm coming off uh, less prepared to handle all these things than I actually am. Um, okay. And, you know, I'm probably doing a bad job of, like, painting myself in a good light. Well, you I can say whatever you want to say. I mean, sure. paint yourself. I mean, I'm trying. I'm Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's just, it's just in general, I mean, you are a human being on this planet. I want to see you do awesome in this world. If we're just saying we could live off of $40,000 when math is clearly suggesting that you're going to have like 5% to live off of maybe. And that's not even including anything being a set, set aside for savings or retirement or paying off that quicker. It's just like, I can't have you think that way because you just, in the situation that you've landed yourself in, so it's endless school, endless school, endless school, endless school, building up the credit card debt, building well, up let me, the let me, student Well, let me loans. say, let me clarify, like okay. going back to school to get another degree is not the A plan. It is not the B plan. It is it is one of the things that I have considered like yeah. that I might do. What would we make before we're a 10-year long-time professor in your position? So more entry level. Uh, it varies, but. Yeah. Um, Let's think average. 65 to 80. Okay. Now 80 in a good situation. What about the director of a writing program? Um, 65 to 80. Okay. Uh, how competitive are those positions? Um, it just depends. It depends on where it is. Um, can't predict what jobs are going to be offered in yeah. two years. Um, there might be, it might be a good year with more jobs. There might be a down year. Um, you know, it might be a university in rural New Mexico. It might be in Seattle. Mm-hmm. It just really depends. Sure. Um, how do you think your interview skills are for these positions? Extremely good. Yeah. Like, okay. yeah, very, very good at that world of like getting jobs, applying like a lot of experience with stuff like that. Okay. 